Hello my Cancers, this is Priscilla from Crystal Things Heal here to do your monthly reading for January 2021. You made it. Woo Keep in mind that tarot's for guidance and entertainment purposes only. Therefore, I'm not responsible for what you do after your reading, but I'm here for you. If you're interested in personal reading, check out crystalthingsheal.com. Uh, what else do I want to say? If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. What else? I'm reading for multiple energies, so it may or may not resonate with you. Check back next week, next month. I don't know, next weekend. There's plenty of readings I post up on here. Let's get started. Um, I'm seeing parents, so right off the bat. Um, there's something about parents. And the song that I was hearing actually right before I started your video was um it's called hey mama from kanye west and it goes hey mama i want to scream so loud for you because i'm so proud of you let me tell you what i'm about to do hey mama i know sometimes i act a fool but i promise you i'm going back to school something about being allowed for me to do something like that. So some of you might be going back to school, like online classes or something. Maybe getting your GED or college, whatever. Lots of healing going on. Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael showing up. So some of you have a supportive mother that's been there for you. That's just like, she's just one of those that just supports you no matter what. And you just, you want to make them proud. Um, this is likely someone who's in their mid-30s. This particular energy I'm picking up on. And you are ready to start working on the things in life to, so you can get a stable life. Stable job, stable, you know, whatever, like lifestyle. Some of you might be considering writing a book. Mediumship has been coming up for almost everyone. For some of you, your mom could have passed away. And like you're talking to her spirit. Hey, mama. I want to scream so loud for you. I'm so proud of you. Let me tell you what I'm about to do. The willing to forgive. Um, this is a willing to forgive yourself. So you might be feeling guilty about not being... As good as a, a child as you wanted to be? Or like, you feel like you didn't make your mom proud when she was here? For those that whose mom has passed away? Mm -hmm. I just keep playing it. Twin, some of you, um, your mom was a twin flame. If you don't know what it is, look up what a twin flame is. So you guys were very, very, very close. And you guys were separated. Without her, you feel like, aside from her being your mom, you feel like um, like half of you is gone or missing. Because she is part of your soul. Yeah, so now you're talking to her. You talk to her more. You were like when she was around you when she was, you know, living, you guys were close. Um, but you talk to her more now that she's passed on. Cause notice this is a throat chakra and notice how she has her hand right on the throat chakra. So she's listening to you for whoever needs to hear this.
Your mom is definitely listening. Look, it keeps coming up, parent. And notice how they're angels. Hmm. You might be in the music industry. And they may have been very supportive in your music industry. You may have siblings. The name Audrey might be relevant. Rosling. Anita. Or arena, something like that. All right, is there anything else you want me to know about that? No. Mediumship, see? You're connecting with them. Like, they, they are very present in your life. You might even see them, smell them. They, um, I'm smelling like a rose perfume. Or they had like rose scented things in their home. Rosie might be relevant. Might be Hispanic, Rosi. Rosalina. I don't know, that's what I'm getting, man. All right, so what do you want me to know? Oh, my nose just went off to that confirmation. All right, so I know that was like a rabbit hole thing. Wow, that was seven minutes. I'm so sorry. Um, that was for someone. So what do we need to know about cancers? Ooh, whoa. Okay. Okay, so I don't know what this is. What's that about? You may have, something may have happened, and then as a result, you completely removed yourself from social media. And then you may have even literally moved away. Because you just didn't want to deal or like give to other people. You didn't want to go to parties. You didn't want to do any of that. Something about not wanting to go to gatherings, which, I mean, we just got over 2020, so it makes sense. However, um, I think you do end up eventually going to at least one gathering and at that gathering an opportunity comes to you and it's actually something that you've asked for um like a potential business idea or something i know it just went off for that like a connection to a business idea or something maybe like you meet someone in the industry that you wanted to be in I said music, right? So make, you meet someone in the music industry and it makes you really happy and then they, uh, like luck is on your side here. Four of Wands, wow. It might even lead you to like, like I said, to moving. 
Some of you might be moving to LA. I guess I heard LA. And you feel like you got you finally got your break. Your big break. Like obstacles are lifted. Um either you just didn't see it coming or you might be a gullible person to where someone might be acting like they're bigger than what they are in the industry and you might fall for it. They're not like what they really seem. What's this about? So then you like decide to, yeah, I don't like this person. So there's one person here for some of you, someone is being a little deceitful about like who they truly are and maybe present themselves to you a different way. Um, I said gullible, like try not to be naive because this person might not have the best intentions for you. They might make you the news that they say might make you really happy, but it might not be exact what it seems. You're going to have to go within and follow. Look, it says, I follow my own path. That's exactly what I was just about to say. However, I do want to say, even if you don't do things with that specific person who's pre being presented to you, it still leads you to the right path. I still think that you end up moving for whatever this is, like, or traveling for it or something. Um, it does still regardless. Look, that's a path. I just said that. Look at it. From, where is it? Here, going up here. It still leads you to the right path. Somewhere where there's like a lot of mountains. That would be like LA, right? It's probably like a very good looking man. A little younger. Yeah, so there's some obstacles going on with, you know, you're gonna be manageable, so don't worry. They might not seem like they're manageable. You're going to have some people from your past trying to come back. I keep touching this card. About you looking into your future. I think regardless, even if this person's not the best person... It still leads you to where you have to be. So, you know, just watch out for what they say. But still, you know, don't close yourself off completely. But don't partner up with this person. Whoever this person is, and they say they want to be your manager or something like that, don't do it. It would be a bad financial decision. Follow, do your own thing. Oh yeah, you're definitely moving. All right, is there anything else you want me to know? I don't, I don't know. Anything else? Uh, I feel like that's it. So it's kind of like a warning for people. It's not really a warning. I mean, I guess it is, but not really because, like I said, it still leads you to where you want it to be. Just be mindful of, you know, not everyone has the best intentions for you. Alrighty. Well, that's going to be your message for today. Um, I was going to say for today. For January. Until next time. Bye.